What's going on, everybody? So here is a topic that we never talk about. <clears throat> but at least our president is talking about it and helping spread awareness and freaking everybody out. That's right. You guessed it. Food shortages. Huh. Food shortages. The sanctions don't only hurt other countries. They hurt us. Interesting with the lack of grain coming in, oil coming in. And oil is one of those things that's not just for the fuel. We make a lot of stuff out of oil. That could increase the prices of a lot of things. That's a whole different topic. Food shortages. Not only food shortages, but a possible chance for famine in some countries. Even like the U.S., I guess you could say. We've been talking about this. If you're not stocked up, you better get stocked up. I guess enough harping on that. It's just a fact that everybody came out and said right to you. But it's kind of hard, too, when you don't believe these people that have been lying to you for a couple years now. Or 20 years now. Or whatever the case may be. Then they go say stuff right out in public that's probably obviously part of the reset that may be great and telling you what they're going to do making it happen this way because really what does this whole conflict have to do with us it really doesn't have much to do with us it's just kind of like oh we'll poke our nose in it <clears throat> and for what reason well there's got to be a reason there's got to be a something behind it obviously Everything. There's always something behind everything there. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it. You know it's money. No matter what. Billionaires are going to make billions or trillions more. While well, you scrape for a grain of rice that's not coming in. This could get ugly. Stay on top of your game. Get your training done. That's about all you could do. There ain't shit we can do about it, is there? So... Thanks for watching. Have a good day. I'm trying to stay positive. There ain't shit we could do about it. So I'm going to enjoy this lovely spring with snow overnight. That was cool. Went uh, all the way up to like 70 degrees. Now we're back down to uh, 30. That's cool. <laughs> but a good time to get out and do some training too. So yeah. Have a good day.